scooter in the Philippines. Number one is Aerox and Aerox S with the SRP of 102,000 up to 122,900. The specification is engine is 155 cc with the power of 14.7 horsepower. Start option is only electric. Wala siyang kick start. Panel is fully digital. Rear brake, drum. Front brake, disc brake. Engine and performance. Fuel tank capacity consists of 4.6 liters. Pipes, single. Cooling systems, liquid cooled. Bore time stroke, 58 millimeter by 58.7 millimeter. Torque, 13.8 mm. Clutch type, centrifugal dry type. Strokes is four stroke. Engine type, single cylinder, 4 valve, liquid cooled, SOHC. Cylinder is 1, RPM at maximum power of 8,000 RPM. And at RPM at maximum torque is 6,250 RPM. Dimension, category is scooter, ground clearance is 142 millimeters, weight is 116 kilograms. Its length is 1,990 millimeter. Seat height 790 millimeter. Wheelbase 1,350 millimeters. Oil tank capacity is 1 liter. Height is 1,125 millimeter, and its width is 700 millimeter. Seating capacity is only for two. Ignition system. Electric, TCI, fuel supply, fuel injected, fuel type, gasoline, and its fuel consumption range from 30 to 38 km per liter. Wheels and tire. Rear tire, 140 over 70, fly rate 14. Front tire, 110 over 80, fly rate 14. Front wheel size, R14. Tire type is radial tubeless. Ang gear and transmission naman niya is gearbox, variable speed. Transmission type is CVT. When it comes to chassis and shock suspension, rear is unit swing and port. Front is telescopic port. Electrical is 12 volts. Headlamp niya is LED. Tail lamp, also LED. Accessory outlet and indicator light. Punta na tayo sa Honda Click 150i. SRP niya is 98,900. Safety and security with anti-tep alarm, pass switch, engine check warning, headlamp, LED, tail lamp, LED. Engine performance. Displacement niya is 155cc with a maximum power of 13 horsepower. Bore time stroke is 57.3 mm by 57.9 mm. Exhaust pipe single. Cooling system is liquid cooled. Drive type is belt drive. Maximum torque of 13.4 Nm. Engine type single cylinder liquid cooled. Stroke four stroke. Bad configuration SOHC. RPM at maximum torque is 5,000 RPM. RPM at maximum power is 8,500 RPM. Now let's go on to its dimension. Category niya is scooter. Seat height 769 millimeter. Dry weight 107 kilograms. Height is 1,062 millimeter. Length is 1,919 millimeter. Width is 679 millimeter. Wheelbase 1,280 millimeters. Ground clearance of 132 millimeters and curb weight of 113 kilograms. Seating capacity is for two. Now let's go on to its fuel ignition. Starting option is electric start. Fuel type gasoline. Fuel supply system is FI. Its fuel consumption range from 45 to 50 kilometers per liter. 
let's go on to wheels and tires front wheel size is r14 and the rear wheel size also r14 tire type radial tubeless rear tire 100 over 80 ply rate 40 front tire is 90 over 80 rate 14 gear and transmission gearbox is and variable speed transmission type is cbt Chassis and suspension. Front suspension is telescopic fork and rear suspension is yung ordinary or yung unit swing. And ano ba yung mga nagustuhan ng mga tao about these two kinds of scooter, Honda and Yamaha? Una yung kanyang panel screen, napakaganda, built in na lahat. Uh, nandito na yung kilometer reading, trip A, trip B, uh, odometer, speedometer, clock, uh, madami pa lahat ng meter trip meter ang pinagkaiba lang nila is mas malapad yung panel ng aerox tapos naka minimize lang yung sa click 150i sa headlight naman pas same lang naman silang maganda very elegant look uh, tapos medyo mabagsik silang tingnan lalo na pagka sa gabi pagka may ilaw na sila talagang nakaka attract sa mga customer sa buyer Tapos maliwanag din naman sila parehas uh, kung kukumpara mo sila uh, kahit hindi mo na nga sila installan ng mga ano eh, mga headlamp eh. Lalo na kung bago huwag nyo na i-suggest, huwag nyo na muna ng installan para hindi ma-void yung warranty yung electrical. Number 3 yung tail light. Uh, same naman silang maganda pero sa para sa akin mas malinaw tingnan yung ano, tail light ng click 150i kasi ano siya mas malaki siya at saka mas visible talaga siya sa gabi at saka syempre sa tail light kasi nandyan din yung stop light eh mas maganda kung kitang kita talaga siya mas wide at saka dagdag ko na rin pala yung sa click 150 meron siyang grab bar yung sa aerox kasi wala siyang hawakan lalo na yung angkas wala siyang mahahawakan kundi yayakap na lang sa driver Next natin is yung sa pipes nya, uh, comparison between the two. Yung sa pipes nya, para sa akin mas maganda yung sa Honda Click kasi nilagay na dito yung parang pang mga big bike na para syang robot tingnan. Yung sa Aerox naman, okay din naman sya kasi meron na syang heat guard for protection para dun sa mga makapapadikit dun sa pipe nya. Pag-usapan naman natin yung sa under seat box nya. Uh, capacity ng Click 150i is 18 liters. Tapos yung sa Aerox naman is 25 liters. Bari mas malaki yung sa Aerox. Mas marami tayong mailalagay compare sa Click 150i. Pero okay na rin siya. Kasya naman yung half face helmet dun sa Click 150i. Yan. But I suggest mag-install na rin kayo ng ano, top box bracket para mas madami kayong mailagay. Kasi sa tools pa lang. Uh, kailangan talaga kompleto kayo pagka uh, nagdra rides kayo lalo na sa mga long rides now pag usapan naman natin yung speed, sa speed naman kung gusto mong mabilis mag aerox ka pero kung gusto mong yung katamtaman lang eh, mag click 150i ka na mas matipid pagka click 150i compare sa aerox kita nyo naman sa specs pero sa panahon naman natin ngayon di naman natin kailangan nung sobrang bilis kasi kita mo naman yung daloy ng traffic sa mga bayan-bayan ngayon diba okay na yun yung katamtaman lang ang bilis at ito pa tandaan nyo pag laki ng makina pag lakas din sa gasolina yun yun lang guys thank you and ride safe always